we bring you 10 things you probably didn't know about Anna Markovic. At number 10, there is something she absolutely hates. It's not snakes, it's not clowns. But she absolutely hates being called the sexiest footballer in the world. I think all of us can see that Anna Maria Markovic is quite a beautiful woman, and she's not afraid to show off. But when a newspaper article called her the sexiest soccer player ever, she was furious. I can like the articles that call me the most beautiful football player, or one of the most beautiful, because it makes me happy to hear that I'm beautiful. But then a newspaper describes me as the sexiest football player. The word sexiest? I don't like that at all. So next time you praise her beauty, kindly show some respect. But speaking of respect, in Anna's life, there is one man who deserved all he can get. Because if it wasn't for Cristiano Ronaldo, there wouldn't be any Anna Markovic. She grew up in Croatia, in the Balkan area, which is very male chauvinistic. This place is where hardcore badasses mix football and war. This is not a place where women are supposed to play football. And with her looks, imagine the treatment she received. So her family didn't have any choice, they had to move. And they moved to Switzerland. But it wasn't until 2013 that everything changed. Young Anna Markovic saw Cristiano Ronaldo win the Ballon d'Or, and it inspired her big time. She said to herself, I'm not letting anyone stand in my way. I want to be a footballer. And so, she did. At age 20, she sent shockwaves throughout Swiss women's football, and the Croatia women's national team quickly called for her duties. Way to go, Anna. But hold on, didn't we just say that she moved to Switzerland? Yeah, so for our 8th place, by moving to Switzerland, she is also eligible to play for them. That means she could play with Alicia Lehman. Imagine Markovic playing alongside Lehman. Well, while that duo would be quite a money spinner, it's nothing compared to our 7th. Because if you haven't seen Anna's Instagram feed, you should take a look. And I bet you'll find pictures in her feed of our number 6th spot. Because as a soccer player who travels the world, Anna Markovic has definitely seen a lot of beautiful places. Her Instagram is full of pictures of her on vacation and having fun on her days off. But she has a special place in her heart, and that place is the capital of Croatia, Zagreb. In her own words, I visit Croatia whenever I can, although due to training with my club, right now time is the least I have. Zagreb is my favourite place. I love Zagreb. I always carry a little piece of Zagreb with me everywhere, and a little piece of me always stays there. I love it. In number 5, we have the one dream that many professional footballers share the dream of playing in England. If you get hold of a man who plays football professionally, he will tell you that he would like to play in the Premier League one day. And it's the same with the women too. English football divides opinion, but its appeal is enormous. Just check the amount of content on YouTube focused on English football alone and see for yourself. Anna Markovic has the same dream, and she also has a team she'd like to play for. She made it known in one of her interviews when she was asked if she would accept a modeling contract or sign for any football team. Chelsea, of course, she replied. The Blues are currently stacked in attack, but playing with the likes of Sam Kerr, Penilla Harder, and Fran Kirby could help her become even better. Keep dreaming, Anna. Keep dreaming. In the number four spot, we have Anna's dedication to education. Anna Markovic is currently studying in Zurich, Switzerland, and this is why she has stayed in the same area for a professional career so far. Markovic began her career playing for FC Zurich before moving on to Grasshopper Club, also in Zurich. She says that she would like to finish her studies before considering any offers to play abroad. A wise move. In the number three spot, we have Anna's other passion, business. Anna Markovic and two of her friends started a company called Maloko Schweitz. The company makes beverages, and their main offering is lemonade, which comes in different flavors. The company was started in 2018, and Markovic is very involved in the marketing. This is where her beauty comes in, because most of the product marketing features the very beautiful Anna. I think I'm going to try some myself. And speaking of marketing, at number two, we have her brand ambassadorship exploits. Currently, she's one of the most sought after faces in Switzerland for different brand endorsements, and she's enjoying it. She's a very marketable person, and she's making bank from it. Even her club gets in on the act, as they use her as the face of the club for their marketing. It's only a matter of time before she breaks into the mainstream, and many people will lap it up, we tell you. And finally, in the number one spot, we have a sibling rivalry brought about by football. Anna isn't the only one in her family who plays football professionally. 
Her sister, Kristina Markovic, is also a football player, and she plays for FC Zurich. Derby days must be really something in the Markovic household. And that's it for our number one spot. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.